Oh, he's gone. <laughs> oh, why? He was there. I swear he was there. He didn't really leave. He left. Oh, I was thinking that would be perfect. We could wake, we could wake him up with a storm and see how that would go. Hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of King's Quest 3 Redux. We are back here into the land of Ludor, there we go, What's the, I forgot the name of it. And we are back incarnating Gwydion once again as we are trying to free ourselves from the evil wizard Mananen for plan Miawanen that we didn't accomplish yet because we can't Turn it into a cat yet because we have to find the missing ingredients to the spell and I didn't play this game in a couple days I was thinking of what to do because I am pretty much stuck where I am right now I can't really do anything in case you don't know last episode I discovered that I am basically in a dead end Because I have no more food items and when Manan is gonna come back from his journey He's going to want to eat and I have nothing to give him and I didn't give him something for two or three times now. And this time will be the last one that we can uh, continue the game uh, not feeding him. And when we will do that, we will just be changed into dust and die. So we can't not feed Manana anymore, but we don't have anything to feed him. Unless he wants this porridge. And I've been thinking about it for a while to think of what to do about this. And I've thought the best solution at this point would probably be, as much as I hate it, to restart the game. To start from the beginning again. But this time we know exactly what to do to get to the point we are now. And I'm not going to put you through this. I am going to do this in a time lapse where I'm going to accelerate through. And I'm going to make like a little speed, uh, speed acceleration of me uh, going super fast and doing everything with some music playing, and I'm gonna try to get back to this point into the game, but still have, I hope, two or three of my food items uh, by the time that I get to this. I hope, that's the plan anyways, and hopefully if we do that, we'll be able to have all the food items in the kitchen still to us if we need to use them, and I'm going to be able to have more food items to give to Manan if we're stuck on this point for more, because it took us 1 hour and 47 minutes to do what we did to progress in the game. 1 hour and 47 minutes to do almost nothing. Because seriously, we didn't really do much into the game at the moment. We did a couple spells and stuff, we got some objects, but we didn't even get rid of Manana, which is the first like big step to the game, I think. So, yeah, I think by this point it's pretty much the time to restart before I get too far in. And before I really get to it and where I can't do anything anymore. So, I'm going to start a new game. Hopefully, this won't be too bad. And I'm going to try to go through as fast as I can. And if I can manage to get to this point again, I can even delete all my other saves game to be all fresh with some new exploring and some new puzzle solving into the new save game. So... Let's try to do this, and let's see how long it will take us to reach this point again. Hopefully, this will be alright.
Okay, so under a new save game, I managed to get up to 94 points. And why it's so high and why it's higher than when I started, it's because this time I did also the talking to animal spell, which I didn't do in the last save game because we got to that end when that happened. And we are only at 54 minutes in, so that is 50 minutes less time than what we did last time for what we accomplished here. The only things I didn't do was that I need still to do the brewing up a storm spell. And Minanan just got hungry, so we have to feed him. And I don't have anything in my inventory, so I have to restore and go under the bed to get something to feed to him. Because next time he leaves on a journey, or next time he sleeps, we'll be able to make the brewing up a storm spell and hopefully, finally, We'll be able to go uh, into the treehouse and get the money there, and if it's even money. I hope it's money there, because I would unlock everything. Uh, where's the thing? Okay, that, that is what we need to give to him. That's the last object that we need to give to him. That's the last object that we have to give to him. Uh, and hopefully, that'll be the last one I'll need to give, because I don't, I don't want to have to do the jumping jacks and the YMCA again. <laughs> I really don't want to. I had enough of that for my life. Uh, okay. Mananen. You are hungry, Mananen. Eat some raw meat. I'm sure you're gonna like it. The bone is even in there. And he ate the bone with it. So, yeah. That's great. Okay, now we're gonna go sleep so we can pass the time. And then we, I hope, that we'll be able to do the spell. Because I hope that he will go on a journey or something, and we'll be able to finish with him when he comes back. Actually, the best thing would be if he goes to sleep, because if he goes to sleep, when we'll be able to make the final cat spell, I think we'll be able to put it on him when he is sleeping, but I don't think we can do that otherwise. Okay, let's sleep like two minutes. And... We slept three minutes. Okay, that's good. Uh, new record, Gwydion. <laughs> Okay, let's get out of this and leave, please. I am going to lie down for a rest. Yes. Do not disturb me. Oh, I will not, Nasta. I will not. <laughs> okay, let's go get all the stuff under the bed. Uh, I really, really hope that this is the final try to this. Hopefully, we can transform him into a cat today. But I said that like for like three or four episodes, so. Yeah. I don't know if that will work. And the good thing is we have the dough in our ears and I was I was wondering if the dough would make it so he would see it in our ears and know we're doing magic, but he doesn't. And what are you doing, Gwydion? He he was at the stairs and I clicked down that he needed to go back there, turn around, and I love that just to go, oh my gosh. Okay, we need we absolutely need that wand. That cat just went now away. He's you gonna sit the right where the... Yeah, of course. He's gonna sit right ticket. where the um, trap is supposed to open. Uh, move please, cat. You're in my way. Let's open this before he goes back there. You quickly... The trap opened. Alright, let's go down. Down we go, down we go. Down the staircase we go. I'm really looking forward to this time thing disappearing on the top. We're gonna be done with Mananan. Okay. So the spell is bring up a storm. One cup of ocean water in a bowl. Dang it! Dang it, I don't have a cup of ocean water. I do not have a cup of ocean water. Retrieve. So, wait, actually we, where's all this stuff? Oh, it's in our inventory. Never mind. I'm stupid, I'm stupid. We need to go get the cup of ocean water to be able to do this properly. So let's go get the cup of ocean water and then we should be good to go with a spell. I think that's the only object that we don't have. 
because I got, I already, I think I got the spoon of mud. Yeah, I got the spoon of mud. So it's just the one thing that we don't have that we need is a cup of ocean water. So let's just go to the ocean, get that stupid cup. Oh my gosh, stop it. Over you. Ugh, stop it with your jokes, chickens. I'm busy. I can hear you all later when Banana is a cat. Operation Meow Anon happens today. We can't miss this opportunity. Let's go down this little path here. I really don't want to fall off. There we go. And uh, man, this game is long. <laughs> I can't believe it. We're almost at half the points though. We're almost at half the points to complete the game. So it, it's getting there. It's getting there maybe like in um, twice the amount of episodes that we did already, we'll be able to finish it finally. Hopefully. And I'm just thinking, he, he's not gonna like that ocean water. Because he'll say it's too muddy or something, yeah. Try a little. Uh huh, too brackish. Too brackish. Here, this should be good. You scoop. Perfect. That's for the second time we get a cup of that. Because the first time, I actually discovered for the potion that you need a flask of ocean water, you can get it in the cup and then use a flask on the cup to move it from one container to another. And that gives you the points for the flask anyways. So that's pretty cool. But in total, we just need to fill the cup once. If you get the empty flask first, and then you go get the ocean water. Oh, come on, thieves, leave me alone. I don't need them today. I really don't need them today. Uh, let's go up the little serp serpent path. Serpent path, no snake path. A serpent is, well, it's like an, an English word I made up from the French serpent which is snake in French, because I mean like, the path does a snaky shape. Although if I'm not mistaken, serpentine is a word in English, but maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just making something up here. Okay, we arrived to the top again. I'm dang tired of going up and down that eagle thing. I wonder what will happen when Manana will finally be a cat. Will we be able to... I wonder. Will we, will we be able to take the book of spells and bring it with you us? When we go you elsewhere. Because there's a couple spells that we really don't have the ingredients to to do the spell. And I doubt we'll find them you quickly. in this land. Which probably shows me that we'll have to travel to other lands sometime in this game. Maybe out far in the sea. But first, Miawainen has to become a cat. Okay. So this is it. Brewing up a storm spell. Here we go. Bring up a storm. One cup of ocean water in a bowl. You pour light charcoal brazier. Slowly heat boil, not boil. Then remove. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. You okay, light, light it. You place the. Uh huh. You remove the bowl before it starts to boil. Perfect. Next, put one spoonful of mud in the bowl. You add a spoonful of mud to the bowl. Perfect. One pinch of toadstool powder to the bowl. Is that a toadstool? Toad spit. No. The cream. Aha! Uh -huh. This is it. You add the. T you save the empty jar for reuse. Okay. Blow into the hot brew. Hopefully, blowing is like this. You blow into the steaming bowl. Okay. We set this following. With trepidation, you prepare to recite the Brewing a Storm incantation. From nature, I now call on thee, the power of the land and sea. When brew is stirred, all should be warned, the might 
of the approaching storm. I could recite that a lot more epically. Like, just let's think of this. Like, Gwydion, seriously, you're reciting a spell. You should do it like this. From nature, I now call on thee, the power of the land and sea. When brew is stirred, all should be warned, the might of the approaching storm. How is that? That would be a lot better. Okay, we have a magic wand over the jar. Not the jar, the bowl. The bowl, okay. We have a magic wand over the bowl. You wave the magic wand over the bowl. Perfect. Now pour the storm brew into a jar. We have the empty jar that we save for reuse. You carefully pour the storm brew into the empty jar. The charcoal brazier burns out. We got it. We got it. Oh, yes. Okay, how do we activate this spell? To activate spell, stir with finger and recite. Stormy brew, churn, and you. To deactivate the spell, recite stormy brew, calm, renew. Okay. So, I'm guessing Gwydion will learn the, like, the spells by himself. Uh, so we don't have to really think about that. The thing that we really have to think about is we have to make sure we get back in time here after we went to the thieves' place. So, hopefully this will work. Dooby dooby doo, going up the ladder. And we can save that open for now. I don't think we'll need to. Yeah, I don't think we'll need to close it. I really hope. Okay, because I don't know when Man is gonna wake up. Okay, this is a path I don't like to take, always. Da -da 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 -da. Down the little path that is really trying to kill me, it seems. I'm just thinking, the spell that we can't make, is that just like a red herring? Something put into the game to make us think we need it, but we don't actually need it in the whole game? Might be. It really might be. It's really the kind you of- know why Ugh. He does that all. Oh my gosh, birds! Shut Every seven. Shut up, birds! I already checked all the conversation. Uh, now let's go up. There. Oh. Okay. So, can we brew up a storm in this tree? You've reached the porch of a shack built in the branches of the oak. Oh yeah, we already uh, know that. Okay. You decide against conjuring a storm, seeing as how you're in a tree. No. Why? Oh, oh my gosh. After all of this. After all of this. That spell. Is for nothing. Nothing that we need it. Oh, that that hurts. I have an idea though. You know those thieves that keep on disturbing me? Can I make a storm in their face? I want the thieves to come for once. Come on, they come all the time when I don't want them to. And Manana's gonna come back. Are the thieves not gonna come? Well, we lost in this game. Uh, let's restore. And now let's head back down the mountain to try that again. So now I saw we have up to one hour and five minutes until Mananan is going to wake up. That means that we don't have time to do the last spell. Not this time, but we can close this back. So this is already closed when we come back. So the only thing we have to do when we come back here is basically run to our room. Uh, where's the wand, where's the wand? There's a wand. Put the wand into the thing. You care? There we go, and now let's close it. The cabinet. Yeah, it locked. Perfect. And let's get out of here and let's go down. 
and let's hope that we find these thieves. Because that would be great. I think maybe they know how to get to their place. Or maybe if we manage to knock them out with a storm, they'll run away forever. And we'll be able to enter their treehouse. Maybe that's what I need to do. Let's hope. Let's really hope that this spell actually serves for something. Because that stupid spoon of mud took me so long to find. I really don't want it to be just nothing. Okay. Oh, and because we can't do it this time, that means when Banana's gonna come back, he's gonna be hungry, and then we can't feed him, so we're gonna do the YMCA's again. That's great. Okay. Usually the thieves come all the time when I do this. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes. It seems that even those bandits associate the use of magic with really bad news. Stormy Brew. Churn anew. That scared them. That scared them. We're gonna have to restart to go back. Okay, we already know that, but what happens to the tree? They run in the tree? Is there someone in there? Let's, You've reached the port. Let's look while we're fly. Yep, there's someone there. There's someone there. Uh. Now is not the. Hmm. Nope. Nope. We have to get out of there. Okay. Hmm. Well. Well. Ah, I don't even know what to say. What do we need the spell for? What do we need the storm brew in a jar spell for? I can't think of anything that we need it for. Like, oh my gosh, I feel like I did all of this for nothing. <laughs> what do we need for the becoming invisible spell again that we do not have? Oh yeah, the lard. The jar of lard. And I think that's something you can buy at the shop. But for the money thing, I was thinking, who would have money other than thieves? And that's why I wanted to try to make a storm in the face of those thieves. But that didn't work. Is there anything we can do in the village with this? Would the shopkeeper be interested into a jar? That can make storms. Good day to you. Can we make a storm here? This is not okay. This is not a good place to use it. The shopkeeper. Because the shopkeeper is not interested in that. You want this? The shopkeeper is ah. Um The shop Is there anything we could give to him? I'm still thinking. Maybe we missed something. Nope. Nothing here. Ah. Uh, we could make a we could make a storm where the um, Let's try this. Let's try this. I know I'm going to lose the game here because the, the wizard is going to come. But let's try this. You know this guy that has been sleeping for the whole game at the end of the dock here? Can we wake him up with a storm? Oh, he's gone. 
<laughs> oh, why? He was there. I swear he was there. He didn't really leave. He left. Ah, I was thinking that would be perfect. We could wake, we could wake him up with a storm and see how that would go. What can we do with a storm? Is there anything we can do with a storm? Is this just something? I think this is something for later. I think we did the storm spell, but we need it for later. Because if we make a storm in Manana's face... Uh, okay, the thieves. The thieves are here. The thieves are here. Okay, wait. Okay, here. Can we make the storm when they're really close? No, they still run away. It seems that even those bandits... Stormy Bru... And then we have to wait again for this to end. And we're gonna die when this will end because it will be in the red. And then that's bad news. So... Yeah, we're still kind of stuck. Unless there's another spell I can do. Is there another spell I can do? Let's check. I doubt it. We might just be in a point where we need to you qu think about what to do next and experiment some things because we're pretty much stuck again. I thought this bringing up a storm spell was really going to do it, but it seems like the only way to get into the thief's house is really the invisibility. Because I tried the storm, it clearly doesn't work. Okay. We can almost do this. We can almost do this. The only thing is we don't have a pouch. We can't buy one. Hmm. We can do the turning another into a... No, we can't because we don't have the fish oil. Two spoons of fish oil. Huh. Teleportation at random. Dried mistletoe. It takes dried mistletoe. We don't have that. This is the yeah. The only spells we don't, we can't make are teleportation at random. We need the dried mistletoe. Uh, causing a deep a deep sleep. We need the pouch. And the becoming invisible. We need the jar of lard. So that's three objects that we are missing. One of them is going to like make our chain reaction to all the others. Huh. I I think we're pretty much stuck again. But at least we're in a new game, we're not a dead end anymore, and we have all the spells that we can make at the moment. We have to figure out how to make the others still. Anyways, that will be it for this episode of King's Quest 3 Redux. I really hope you enjoyed. I really hope I provided you with some jumper for today. A smile on your face, a laugh, a chuckle. Something, something good. Because if I did, I'm happy. And that's all I was trying to do with this. But anyways, that'll be it for this one. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the next episode. Mettre des blocs.